Hello everyone. We're going to be working on the Twine activities again. Today we're going to be adding in sound and videos from YouTube. Uh, I'm using incognito mode, so I have to make a new story just because I re reopened a tab from scratch. So I'm just going to create a new story. I'm just going to call it music and video story. So there we are at the beginning again. We're going to start by saying uh, after breakfast, I hear a knock on the door. So I want to add now a sound for my door. So we already know from last time how to add a picture. So for the picture, we can just add center image and center at the end to have the image being centered. So if I go to Wix again on my uploads, I still have the picture here. So I can just copy the URL and paste it at the top in between the two quotation marks. I can do a quick check to make sure it's working. So after breakfast, I hear a knock on the door. The door is kind of small here, so I can change the size with the dimension. So I can make the height, let's say 700. Look at it again, a little too long now. So you can play around with the two variables and two numbers and see what works best. And then have your picture included. But now I want to add a sound for this door. I want us to add a kind of a doorbell being rung to kind of indicate uh, the bell. So let me change this out here. A bell coming from the door. So to add an image, we have the image source. To add an audio, it will be a very similar code. The code is going to be audio source instead. Audio source. The main difference, however, is that the file now has to be not .jpeg, has to be a .mp3 file instead. So I have to go find that and get that online. If you have your own sound already, it's a lot easier to just upload it to Wix, just like we did last time, just upload media. However, if you want it or you're looking for a sound, I usually use Sound Bible. So if you go on Google, Sound Bible, the first link takes to this page, has multiple different sounds you can search for. If I go on the search bar here, I search for uh, door sounds and I scroll down, tested some different sounds and I eventually I found what I was looking for, which is the doorbell. So I rang and see, and there you go. That's my doorbell sound. There's even two tone doorbell. I can see whatever I want. Once I decided and found the sound that I want, I can click on it. It'll take me to the page and I can just click on the MP3 file to download it. It'll download to my computer. Once I have it on my computer, just like for any image, I can go to upload image, upload from computer and upload the doorbell sound file. You will notice the difference that it's clearly, it doesn't have a picture on it. It's just .mp3, but the idea works the same way. I can just copy the URL. I go to the audio source, paste my URL. And you'll notice the main difference here is that it ends with .mp3. I'll just have it at autoplay. So it starts playing by itself automatically. Uh, let's see if it works. So we heard the sound that means it's working just fine. The one issue or the one uh, thing to be careful is after the audio is added in, if I add any text afterwards, Hey, let's go open the door so i'm adding a door passage here if i go and play this what's going to happen is you won't see the text anymore just the way twine works is the sound is technically still playing so you won't see it so usually the best way to deal with audio is just to add it at the very very end so that you don't have any problems so if i do if i just switch the order around like i did there i can now still hear the sound but let's go open the door is at the bottom there so just when dealing with the audio source, it's just better to put it at the very, very end. Put all your text, your files, your images ahead of time and before, and then afterwards just add the .mp3 file at the end. So now I added the sound. Again, sound Bible uploading it to Wix. If you have your own mp3 files, you can upload it the same way. You just get a URL that you can use right away. So let's say you open the door you open the door 
and your friend wants to show wants to show you a video so we can also add videos directly from youtube and youtube actually makes it quite easy to do so so if i go to youtube and i find a video that i want to watch in this case i just found some wild animals that are interrupting sports games or appeared in sports games some compilation video if i go on the share button if i go to embed i actually get the code right here and i can just literally copy and paste that code into my file and when i go to play the screen the video is there ready to go so what is that code that you just copy pasted? A lot of it is just from YouTube's perspective, so you can't really interact too much, but some of it makes sense to us. So some things that you can control is when to start the video. So if you want to start the video at a specific point, you can change that. And you'll see that if I change that here, so let's say I want to start at one minute, the URL is going to change to reflect that. So it says start 60. So if I just have it starting at the beginning, it doesn't say anything. If I have a start, let's say a two minutes, it's going to say start 120 for two minutes. I can also take away the player control, which means if you have the uh, bar at the bottom there, if I take that away, you can only play the video and the bar at the bottom won't show anymore. So if you take that away, that's the difference between the controls, the bottom or not. So show player control or don't show player control. So if I don't show it, the video just plays. And they don't have that bar at the bottom there to kind of move around the video. So you can choose to show or not show. And of course, the code is going to change when you select that. And then you can also enable privacy enhance mode. You can see what it is about. That's just for privacy purposes as well. You can click that off if you want it. So let's say I don't want to show the player control and I can copy this. I can put it in my video how. And then the only other thing that you might recognize is again, the dimensions so if you want to change it to bigger or smaller that's available to you source makes sense because that's the youtube we have the autoplay we have all that other stuff that kind of just comes with the youtube along the video so if i play it now and i have it no bar at the bottom so it's just I can only kind of pause and play the video i can't kind of move around the video so that's the two ways to add audio and video to your Twine story, Twine production, whatever you want to call it. Kind of, we now have images, background images, sound, and video all being added to our Twine. Again, uh, sound using Sound Bible and um, adding video. YouTube is very kind of convenient for that. If you go to the share button, embedded, there's the code. You can just copy and paste. You can alter to show the player or not show the player to start the video at a specific time and then if you go directly to the story you can also see that you can change the dimensions and then the only other thing that you can really really change if you want without getting too into what the code is really trying to do here is frame border zero means there's no frame border so again let's look at that you can see that there's no frame around it if i put a one it's kind of turning on the frame border so if i change this to a one and then I run the video again, you'll see that now there's a white border around the video. So no border or yes border, you can kind of choose between the two as well. Uh, the other stuff here is a little bit more advanced, so we'll kind of leave it for later to kind of really dive into what they mean. But now you have the ability to add audio and video as well. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.